Hey, my lovely Ariuses. I'm great to be back with y'all. Hope y'all been doing good these past two weeks. You know, I was just taking care of my business, doing my things that I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of things at the same time, so I'm multitasking. So I am doing a schedule to be able to do tarot, you know, the things that I'm getting together to put um, down on my site um, to sell. You know, my personal readings and family life and everything. Um, okay, so. Um, I hope you, Aries, has been doing good. For the most part, I hope everybody's done well and is doing good with their health and everything. Let's see what's on popping here. But I want to say first, when I was coming in, I had a really big, um, like, pain in the right side of my forehead like in the right side of my forehead a really big pain which felt like a migraine type of thing but then I felt confused a little bit so I said okay wait a minute and I even looked at the candle and I was like what is the candle going to shut off and then my aunt, you know my neighbor tells me they're confused I said okay so I don't know who's confused here or who might be going through a lot of migraines or really like pressure in your head or something and you're just like kind of confused. If that's happening to you all at the same time, just go get checked with a doctor. I'm not saying something crazy or something bad is happening. It just doesn't hurt to go to a doctor and get checked, okay? Because it could be vertigo along with migraines. It could be just migraines and sometimes migraines get you confused. And things like that. But it was kind of weird. So, if you guys feel like you're concerned, um, go see a doctor, please. Or maybe somebody around you, your family, whoever it is, just, you know, just to be on the safe side. You feel me? Go to a doctor, okay? So, let's see what's on and popping here with Aries. So, let's get this party started. Um, What's the overall energy between um, Aries and their person, please? In love. Hey, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I swear to God, I went out to, for a cigarette smoke. For a cigarette smoke. Y'all heard how I said that. I went out for a cigarette break. And I had that three of cups in my head so hard, man. I swear on my negra. And my negra is my ancestor because today she was like, I have a lot of guys in here with me working. And of course, my diet, Tio Chum, because she's crying in my head. But she was telling me today, you got to call me my neighbor. Like, if you call me every day, I don't give her name out because you do not give your guys' names out. That's just, you don't do that. But I was sitting outside smoking my cigarette and the three of cups is in my head, in my head, I swear. Like, I cannot make that shit up and there it is. The three of cups came out in the beginning. I was like, what? Like, you know, when they want you to know something, they're just going to put it out. Let me see. What else for um areas? and their person in love peace. Okay, so what I'm picking up, Aries, is celebration. Like, somebody that you might gonna um, see that you haven't seen in a long time. It could be family. It could be your person. It could be a gathering. Um, a celebration going on. Um, a gathering going on. I feel more like family's gonna come into this. Family members you haven't seen in a long time. Um, I feel like maybe there's a person in your life that you were with, okay, that might be invited to this gathering. I don't know if it's by you or family or your friends, however you take this, okay, because it could be friends or family, but there is going to be, um, a reunion here, okay, and with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords coming out, there's going to be something here that's going to shift. And I believe you haven't seen this person in a very long time. And I believe this person in you has something going on at some point. Um, I don't think you guys had a fallout because it was something crazy or something like that. I just feel like it's a person from a long time ago. 
okay and you're gonna have like some type of gathering or something and this person is gonna be there i don't know if you're gonna invite this person but i feel most like this person might just show up because somebody invited this person you probably just bump heads in there and you don't even know it but that's not for every areas you feel me it could just be that you're having a a reunion a gathering a celebration of something that's that happened or that's going to happen even you going back with a person okay and if you're with somebody there could be just a celebration going on and i don't know i feel like i don't know i don't even want to say it like let me just give the, the cards a chance but i feel like with the ace of swords there's a change coming you're very blessed you're getting a lot of blessings um areas and i feel like you're up there already <clears throat> with so many blessings that you're not nobody or anyone or anything is going to stop you. Nothing is going to stop you. Like me están diciendo, like they're telling me in the back, nadie los va a parar. Ellos están determinado. And that means is you are determined. Nothing is going to stop you from whatever it is. Love, money, stability, home, children, whatever the fuck it is that you are manifesting or doing or gonna do, nothing is gonna stop you. You've made up your mind. You always have been a person, you know, that has, you know, a good head on their shoulders, but some of you got cut up here in some crazy shit, and it's just only human. You feel me? I just can't sit here and say, okay, you know what? Everybody's you fucked up and you should do better next time. I'm not going to do that because everybody is human here. You feel me? And everybody goes through shit. But I feel like a lot of things are coming your way. A lot of you are desperate and patiently waiting, but you're kind of like, when is it coming? When is it coming? Because I'm hearing it in the back. It's time to sip it out. Listen, don't get desperate. Don't be patient. Okay? Because it's coming your way. Just be patient because I hear it. My my muerta, my negra saying, están desesperados. Tienen que parar, están desesperados. Like, you guys need to relax because you're so much like, yeah, you're patiently waiting, but you're questioning too much in your head. Like, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? You need to stop. It's going to happen. And for some of you, I feel like it already did. Hold on. What else for... Um, What's here for Aries, please, in the person in love? The chariot. Things are moving fast. Oh, my God. Beautiful home. Like, listen. I feel like you're moving fast, Aries, but more in your thoughts than physically. For some of you. For some of you, you might just be moving fast physically. But I feel like a lot of you are moving fast and in, in thinking like I was picking up with the chariot right here. And plus, my muerta is telling me back, oh my God, my negra. She loves when I say my negra. But I call her my muerta sometimes. My negra is telling me in the back that you want this home. You want this love. You want this person. You want a good life. You want a person to love you. Who does not want a person to love you? Of course. That's not even a thing to say in a reading. But, you know, because everybody wants love. But, you know, like you want this happiness. But your thoughts are so much like you want it, you want it, you want it. You need to slow down. Okay? Because it's coming. Don't be surprised if somebody knocks on your door. Because they're telling me very clearly. Alguien le va a tocar la puerta. Somebody's going to knock on your door. And you're going to be surprised that this person knocked on your door. And I don't think this person's coming with bad intentions to knock on your door. I think they're coming for a good cause. I don't know what it's all about. It could be somebody. You know that you might end up in a relationship. It could be family. It could be a friend. But good news is coming to your house. Okay? Something about good news. And they're going to knock on your door. Okay, to give you that good news. For the most part, I feel like every disaster that you've gone through, 
I don't even say that word. But she told me this after, so I'm saying it like that. Every disaster you've gone through in your life, not only with love, with everything, period. There's been a lot of things that have happened inside your home. And even in people that live on their own, when they live with their parents, a lot of things happen in that home. I feel like you're going to move to more caramel. Oh, my God, caramel. What the fuck is caramel? Caramel waters, okay? Like, you're going to move into more calmness in your home, more peacefulness. Like, the energy is shifting, okay, to something more calm in your home. I don't know if you guys are feeling it already, but I... She just told me... Give me a second. I'll I'll get that to, to that right now. Um, I don't know if you guys. Um, is that there's so many of them talking at the same time? I'm channeling. I'm channeling too many of them. Okay, I'm sorry. I have like three or four talking at the same time. They gave me the name Carlos. I don't know for what reason. They told me, you didn't confuse yourself. El nombre es Carlos. I don't know who Carlos is, but they want me to say that name. Okay, so I don't know if you know if the energy is shifting in your home, but there is peace. And if you haven't felt it, peace is coming to your home. A lot of peace. Like the energy is going to clear for some reason, and you're going to feel more peaceful in your home. Okay, for some of you, I see somebody coming in that wants to give you an offer of something. Okay, and I feel like it's an offer of a, of a relationship. Okay, somebody's stuck here. Somebody's stuck here a lot in their head because she keeps telling me, "Do not trabajando, ellos han trabajado." She's telling me, and she knows English. But we love to speak Spanish to each other. And I consult with her in English sometimes and when she answers in Spanish. But she knows full-blown English. She knows every language. But she's telling me, Tú no estás trabajando. Está trabajando. Saying, you're not the one that's getting stuck with your words. Because I was, I was getting stuck again with my words. And I'm still trying to get stuck with my words. Somebody here is stuck for some reason. Somebody here is speechless for some reason. Something might have happened with some of you Arieses or maybe a specific person. That they're speechless. You see what I'm saying? Like somebody here is hard speaking. Because something happened that left you speechless. You know, like something happened that left you like with no words. It could have been something good. It could have been something bad. It could have been that news is coming. Or it already came. But somebody here is stuck or was stuck when they were speaking because you got lost do oh, you see what I'm saying like I cannot make this shit up lost for words lost for words you must have you must have gotten some news or something that left you that left you in shock wow mi negra mi muerta déjame hablar tiempo que but that's just the way she shows me sometimes things. Hold on. I just flipped a mistake all the cards. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, like I feel like somebody here stuck with their words because you might have gotten some news that left you in shock. I'm going to get to uh, I'm going to find out what that is. Hold on a minute. Um... I don't know. My head is hurting really bad. Um, let me clarify that. Hold on a minute. Mi negra, usted me está diciendo que alguien aquí, aquí, alguien aquí está trabajando que no puede hablar por una noticia que recibieron o que van a recibir. Can you confirm this for me, please? Why are they stuck?
whole deck one time. Mineta, can you clarify why this person is these people or this person is stuck? With this nose that they're receiving or this nose they're receiving? Okay, I'm sorry. Um... The Eight of Pentacles came out, which is something changing. But for me, the way that she's letting me see it is like if somebody passed away or somebody's going to pass away. And I'm so sorry. That's what she's telling me. It could be a family member. That's what she brought out to me. For some of you, if you're seeing crows, ravens, even, um, oh my God. I'm so sorry, Arius, if any of you lost someone or somebody's sick or something. Uh, my condolences if you did lose somebody and I will send my prayers if somebody's sick and um, you don't know if they're going to make it. Um, if you see any signs of crows or ravens or um, any blackbirds, um, you know, and somebody did pass away. That's a sign of them coming to you, okay? So if anybody's been seeing that somebody passed away, that person is showing themselves as that bird, okay? I'm getting dizzy for a reason. Um, there's a lot of energy in here, um, but this person I'm picking up. Headache, dizziness, confused. Um, yeah, if you're seeing, I'm going to leave this one right here. If you see any blackbirds that has to do with crows, like I said, any blackbird, ravens, you know, um, even doves that are black, take it as a sign of somebody that might have just passed away recently. Or in, the or in the last few months, okay? Um, my God, I'm a little bit dizzy here. Not dizzy, but kind of like when you're like losing balance type of is what I'm feeling, like this person's feeling or something. Okay, let me just continue. That might be a confirmation for somebody, and it's not for every Aries. Hold on a minute. What else for Ar for Aries here and their person, please? Balance. You're having a lot of hope, Aries, into whatever you want coming your way. And I feel like somebody's coming your way to balance your life and to give you love. And I'm sorry that I'm kind of like um, stuck a little bit, but this energy is like, um, it's getting me stuck a little bit. nothing bad this is sage okay just to clear the energy a little bit so I could be able to keep on going
Um, I feel like this person that's coming into your life, brand new, <clears throat> is going to bring a lot of balance in your life. There's going to be stability. For the most part, I feel like some of y'all are going to get with somebody. You're going to have a home. I feel like you're going to move in with somebody for some reason. Some of your Aries are going to meet someone and off rip, boom. You're going to date for a little bit and it's going to be quick. You're going to move in together. Okay? You're going to have a lot of chemistry with this person. But if this person doesn't come correct, you're not having it. Like, Aries, you ain't having it no more. Like, whoever comes into your life better be correct. Okay? Because, you know, a lot of us make mistakes. And, you know, somebody comes in and we know they're fucked up. But we say, you know what? Fuck it. You know, I'll build with them. And I believe in building with a person. I believe in building with a person. And if they have a little bit of things that are bad, I believe somebody should help a person. But in this case, no. There's You or people are not thinking like this. You Aries are not thinking like this. You Aries are thinking if they don't come correct, they ain't coming at all. Okay? You're going to be shot with a lot of blessings, um, Aries. You already are. Um, you're having a lot of faith. You're having a lot of faith in this. But, oh my God, what's keeps on? Hold on. What else for Aries, please? I feel like somebody's going to pass away. I'm sorry. Yeah. All these terror moments, all these agonies. All these bad things that have happened to you, all these bad relationships, all these fake is what they're telling me relationships, all these people that were wearing masks during your relationships, all these people that put fronts in front of you like, oh, I'm good, I'm a good person, I ain't gonna hurt you, but they were the other way around, like you're managing to break all them towers down. All them feedings down. All that shit down, you're breaking it down. You do not give a fuck. I'm telling you, you ain't taking shit. You're breaking all them energies. You feel me? And because of you doing that, blessings are coming your way. And this is why somebody's going to rush into your life. It could be today, tomorrow, next month, next year, and six months. It doesn't matter. This is timeless right here. These readings are timeless. But somebody's going to come in and it's going to give you a stable home. I feel like y'all going to get together real quick. Day for a little bit, and that's it. You're moving in together. It's like a chemistry. You're gonna have a real good chemistry, and you just want you're gonna want to be together day and night. You're not gonna want to let go. And if you don't move in together, you might as well we'll move in together because I see like you staying over all the time, or that person switching over and staying over all the time, and it's like a 24 hour thing. So you might as well just move in with the person. You feel me? That's also a way of living together. You feel me? Hold on. What else for Aries here in this person? Somebody here is really stuck in their head. Worrying so much. You need to stop worrying. It's coming. You need to stop questioning. When is it coming? You need to stop questioning. When is it coming? The Ace of Cups. Here it is. Love. The Ace of Cups. You know, something good is coming your way. Something, you know, a relationship is coming your way. Love is coming your way. I believe it's a past person, but I don't believe it's a past person you had problems with. For some of you, it's somebody new. But I believe, like, somebody here is going to bump into somebody that they used to go out with a lot of years ago. And it's going to be like a, like a, you know, like, oh my God, I seen you again. What's up? Let's have a, let's go chill. And it's going to end up in a relationship. But for some of y'all, somebody knows coming in. But I strongly feel like some of y'all going to bump into somebody from the past. That it was just, you know, a fallout. It wasn't nothing really big. You have a lot of blessings, Aries. You need to have patience. Then blessings are right in front of your face. You need to have um, patience. I feel, like, I feel like a lot of you got some um, offers, okay? I feel like a lot of you are doing good with money. Like, I mean, you're not doing so great, but you're doing good with money. You're managing your money well. You have money to pay your bills. You're doing good. For some of you, you're struggling with the money. And for some of you, that money's right in front of your face. You need to know 
how to have patience. I feel like some of y'all waiting for something. And it ain't no motherfucking stimulus check or none of that bullshit. No. I feel like y'all some are waiting for something to happen to open up or something you're manifesting to make that money. I feel like it's a business or something that is going to give you a lot of money. Of course, every business starts with a little bit and you have to, you know, make it from the bottom to the top. But I feel like when you start, whoever here is starting a business or something that's going to be small, it's going to go really good. It's going to go, man, it's going to boom up real quick. And you're going to be very stable. And I see, like, I feel like in this business that you want to open up, two people are coming with you in that business. Two people are going to help you out there that you already know about. And if you don't, you're going to have two people working with you in your own business. For somebody that want to open that business up, because I see it. Ego tienen que, ego tienen que. Like she keeps on telling me, y'all need to like have patience. Because it's right there. It's right there. Hold on a minute. Yeah, like I feel like it's right there. But it's like people, you want it so bad. And you're just like overtiring yourself. Like, I want it now. You have to wait. It's coming in, and it's going to be fine. You have, yeah, because last time people wanted, um, some people wanted signs, some people didn't. You have cancer, cancer, and uh, I don't know why somebody's so stuck here. You have Virgo here, but I feel like somebody's so stuck here. Areas, I don't know, it's weird. Like, if somebody here has a loved one that's you think is not gonna make it, I'm gonna put a candle for that person. I'm gonna pray for that person. Praying is good, praying won't change things. I don't want to mean it in a, in a bad way, but praying does bring peace. To a person when they're passing away. It doesn't mean it's going to change anything. But miracles can happen. You know? Because I believe in miracles. I've seen it. I've done it. I've helped people. And their dying beds come out of it. You understand me? So, I, I've seen things. And I've done things. For the most part here. I see a lot of good things for you areas. Love is coming in. Somebody new is coming in for some of y'all. You're going to bump into somebody from your past. I keep on... Smiling because my, you know, my my native smiling like, you know, you're gonna be surprised. And for some of y'all, some news is coming to your door. I don't know if this is this issue right here with this person that's sick, or some news is coming to your door that you're gonna be speechless, or you're already speechless because I couldn't talk and I just bit my lip, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody. Mm. Damn. Y'all made me bite my lip, Aries. Like, really? No. Nah. Listen, y'all gonna get blessed. Y'all having faith and hope, but y'all gotta relax. Take it easy. It's coming in. I see a lot of energy flowing around your house. Some good energy. Open up your windows. Sage the house, but open but open every window and door up. When you sage, let everything out. Okay, and after you let everything out, close the door and sage inside with doors closed. Okay? Do a lot of cleansings to yourself, natural cleansings. Okay? That's just because they're telling me for you to do it. It's not because it's going to make it better. You already have a stability coming in. They're just telling me for you to do that, to relax a little bit. Okay? Because a lot of you... Want to rush in and are rushing in in your thoughts about things that what you want to manifest and you need to like slow it down because you know you need to like trust you know and have everything go slow and smooth how it's gonna fall out into its place okay but damn areas like damn y'all still y'all still doing good like 
I don't know, but whoever here is opening a business or is, up, is doing something, anything to make money, you might feel like, oh, it's not doing nothing or it's not going to do nothing. Let me tell you something. That shit's going to blow up. It's going to blow up. I'm telling you, it's going to blow up. Let me see. What is this person's intentions towards um, Aries, please? Two of Swords. Hold on. What is this person's intentions against Aries? Against, I just said. Listen, this person is a little bit into their feelings, is a little bit guarded up with those two of swords because they've probably been hurt themselves too and they i feel like they hold a lot of emotions inside i feel like they don't really let loose their feelings too much and when they do they explode with their feelings they have a lot of um guides around them that are helping them okay a lot of guides around them this person that's coming to you or that you're with or that is um um, this old person that you're going to get with that's coming through or something. This person, like, holds a lot of their emotions in. And is very guarded. And not only guarded with love, with everything. It's a very guarded person. But when they let that guard down and they show their emotions, it's like overflowing with water, of tears. Okay? And look what came after. The lover's card. Romance, unity, love, marriage. Aries, you're going to be good with whoever it is. And you have a guardian angel on top of you that's helping you both in this union. And it's going to help you with everything that you're doing. You need to pray and thank that guardian angel. No way. But I'm trying to see something in this card. I don't know who here knows. O, V, and N could be a significant letter for y'all. You see that um those letters up there in the sky formed up on top of the um, angel? They might be significant for you. I've never noticed that. They just told me to look there. Listen, you're going to be good. And I feel like for some reason, whoever here is going to be with somebody, and it's going to be a steady thing, like a steady commitment, might just be moving away to like a, an open place, like where there's not too many houses around you, peacefulness, where you could do things freely is what I'm feeling, okay? Hold on. What is this person's intentions towards Aries? Death card. Changes. Changes. Good luck. Manifesting new things. Moving forward with that death card. With the death card. Moving forward with strength. With fire in their soul. With everything they have. They're going to move forward with you. Making changes. You see that fire coming out of that um, knight's head? That's like, you know what? Ain't nothing stopping me. Fire in their soul is what I'm picking up when I see that. Okay? You might have kids with this person. And I see marriage here. A celebration with flowers. That might be the celebration. A marriage. But this person, uh-uh. They got fire in their soul. My God. My fun, Egun. They're moving with fire in their soul, and you and this person are going to be good. This person is determined to move forward, however, and let me tell you something. You're going to be good with this person. This is going to be your person. And for what they're telling me in the back, you might just be with this person many, many, many years, possibly to the end. Of your years. 
doesn't matter what age you are. Because you're telling me in the back. Van a durar hasta lo último. Like, y'all gonna last to the very end. That could be the very end of a lot of things, but I feel like it's more like the very end of your lives. Let me see. What advice does my um, negra have here for um Yeah, she's been wanting me to call her negra today because I call her my negra on a daily basis. So she told me this morning when I opened up um, Gemini, she kept on interrupting. No, call me my negra. Like you call me on a daily basis because you can't give your guys names out here or anywhere. What is my negative advice for Aries, please? Okay, so it says, manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance of how to spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. So yes, there is a business going on here. There is something that's going to happen here with a business of money. Save your money. Don't spend your money. Focus. Manage your resources wisely. Wisely. Whatever you do with your money in your business, do not go crazy and start spending all over the place. Save the money so you could build more, okay? And help whoever needs help, okay? Help whoever needs help. Whoever is less unfortunate and needs something, help them. That's going to bring you blessings. So it says, an emotionally fulfilling life with family and friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. You see what I'm saying? Some sort of celebrations coming here with family. It could be a wedding children here it's a family some celebration here of some sort is going to be with family friends a celebration it could be a party a celebration a gathering but somebody's going to be there that you least expect it and it could be a person from your past how was picking up that you haven't seen in so long and you might just end up with this person and for whoever here is already in a relationship you might just be celebrating a wedding family and friends you know a wedding a beautiful wedding like you know you guys are working hard for it hold on a minute what else here for Aries please what else for Aries okay we just threw them out So it says, only time will tell. So only time will tell. Like I said, you got to be patient. Okay? Whoever's losing it. Not losing it. You know what I mean? Like, in their head, like, worrying so much how this is going to happen, what's going to happen. Only time will tell. Give it a chance. Be patient, guys. I cannot make this shit up, even though I motherfucking tried. Sexual union. <laughs> Areas. Y'all people. I swear to God. Honor the place. And one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay? So, when you and this person are intimate is when you're going to know. When you're going to feel everything. You feel me? Like, I feel like there's a soulmate connection. Okay? Honor that. Okay? And for all you that are singles out there, honor, honor your sexual unions. Okay? Like, I don't want to say it to be sound bad, but just don't, don't, like, if you feel like somebody is good for you, don't just jump in there with them. Wait a minute. And analyze it, okay? And if you feel something, the chem if the chemistry is there, you already know what you got to do, okay? Transformation. Your relationship which, with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So whoever here is in a relationship is going to deepen more. You people are going to conquer a lot of things together. Okay? And whoever's coming in is going to help you conquer. Okay? Things together. Love conquers all. And when two people are together and they really love each other and they want to make things work, I will tell you this. You're going to conquer a lot of shit together. Because when you love each other, man, I don't care how many arguments. If you don't have arguments in your relationship, you ain't got no love. I'm sorry. You have to have one or two or three arguments and disagreements. This person and you are going to make it a long way. 
and you're going to conquer a lot of things together with your love, okay? What does this person want to tell Aries, please? This could be your past person, present person, even your spirit guides talking to you. What does this person want to tell Aries, please? One more. One more, please. One more time. What does this person want to tell Aries? Oh, there it goes. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Okay, it says, my mind and heart always comes back to you. So whoever this past person is that I feel like you're going to bump into and start something with, they've been thinking about you all these years or all this time or whatever it is. And if you were somebody, they think about you day and night. Okay? Being apart has been life-changing for me. So whoever here... You know, you had a fallout with or whatever. Yeah, it changed your life. Of course it did. You were good to this person. And then this one says, I'm in a much better headspace now. So this person, this past person, might be just trying to be telling you that I just got stuck again. I feel like this I feel like this is the person that's stuck. I feel like they're in a much better place now and they've fixed their problems. Whoever you left behind or something. And they just want you to know that. Okay. Maybe that past person that you had a fallout with, it wasn't something so crazy like you know, really crazy, and it was just something stupid or something, and it was just disagreements. It might have been when you were very younger. I don't know. And, you know, they think different now. It's different now for them. But anyways, I got these uh, little babies right here. I've been charging them for a month. I, I, you know, I did a lot of things to them because they're spiritual dices, and whatever I get, I always, like, you know, I charge them. I do a lot of things to them that I'm not going to say here, but... I thought it would be cute and fun to like throw some letters down, even though sometimes I get letters and names. So I'm gonna shake them. I'm gonna shake it, shake it out. Watch it out. Shake it out. Yeah, I've been today with that shake of that shit. And I gotta do cardio after this, so you already know I'm gonna I'm gonna twerk my way down to the flow. So I'm gonna pull out six. I'm not gonna look at them. I'm gonna pull out six. And this could be your initials, your middle initials, your last um, initials of your name, or your person's first, middle, or last, okay? Let's see. Oh, that one flew out by itself. Let's see. Let's see. So that's five. Oh, I just fell out by myself. I'm going to leave it right there. See what I have here. You have here I. It could be your first, middle, last, or this person's first, middle, and last initial. You have T right here. T. You have R. R. You have M. First, middle, last initial. Okay, yours or this person? You have, it was not G, it was W. W. And you have E over here. Okay. So these are the initials that came out. That my spirit wanted to pull out. Not my spirit. I don't want to say my spirit. She doesn't want me to sell her spirit. Even though she is one. She wants to recover my name. Okay, everybody, so Aries, I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, my loves.